Hey guys, what's up? It's Riley, and this is a video to talk about um, my recent gender clinic appointment. I did have it on the 6th of June, but I've only just got a letter back from what happened. So I want to go through this with you because I have this um, condition called ocular migraines. So it means I lose vision in my eyes and you know just like a normal migraine but very very painful it's usually due to my hormones so i got them when i first started going through puberty in the best way possible to explain it is so when i started menstruating and having you know shark week whatever you want to call it um in that time is when i kept getting them and due to that i always never had an answer from the hospital or anything of what these migraines were doing my own research I then come to realize what it was and that it was my hormones causing it because that's why many, many dietary plans uh, just testing out what could trigger these things and a lot of the time it was due to stress on my hormones because at the time I was getting the most was when I was doing my GCSEs in year 11 thought it could be just stress the same as the doctors thought the hospital thought but it's not it's to do with my hormone levels obviously being on tea I thought would sort it out because I haven't had one um in I would say six or seven months and obviously I started tea six months ago so I thought you know it's okay and then this morning happened and I woke up and couldn't leave my house for work because I couldn't talk, couldn't move my arm, couldn't see. Um, I felt very sick and that is usually what happens when I have my migraines. Now I thought, what's going on here? Like, why is my hormones messed up? But I have noticed a lot of pain recently, like in my, uh, my womb area. So like all around there. And like it feels like my ovaries hurt all the time, um, and I was worried, you know, that I would end up starting like a period again. This is where it all leads back to that phone call appointment I had on the sixth of June. So I finally got the response after emailing Northamptonshire Gender Clinic, and they said they have only just sent out letters responding to a lot of the appointments, which is kind of ridiculous because. I was worried because of my blood test results and yeah they weren't great um so i'm gonna read the letter once i find it Bear with me a second so it says i had a telephone consultation with riley on the 9th of june 2020 current medications discontinued after two injections lapropylene acetate 3.75 milligrams that's the hormone blocker i had to stop taking because i am allergic to it and then it's Tostran gel, 2%, 10 milligrams, 3 measures daily. And the assessment, Riley commenced hormones on 20th of the 1st, 2020. He took two injections, appropriately acetate, 3.75 milligrams, discontinued as he developed adverse effects. The last injection was taken in February 2020. All the side effects have disappeared, except he continues to feel nausea all the time. All the time. Like, it's still not gone away. So I definitely need to make sure I get checked for something else because I don't think it was that that was making me sick. In the notes after that it says, The serum testosterone is low and I am increasing the dose of Tostran pump gel to four measures daily. Now, bearing in mind this was four months ago I had this um, appointment. This was a month ago I had this appointment, right? So... I've had a month where I've been really low on tea, which means my estrogen levels were high. So he's hired the dose, but not made me aware in that time. Now, today is the first day of starting on four pumps, where I was already on three. <laughs> so it's gone from one pump to two pumps to three pumps to four pumps now. So it's gone up again. This is what he was saying. Some of it I don't understand because it's medical talk and I don't know what it means. So it's the FSH and the LH are high due to the lack of GMR, GNRH ag agonists. I don't know. I'll put it on the screen, whatever this says. The serum estradiol 
is slightly high and the in increase in testosterone may decrease the serum estrogen levels. May. So it looks like I might have to go back on a hormone blocker. Obviously not the same one as before, but they did say there was another one they could offer me. So the management plan is please increase testosterone pump gel to 10 milligrams slash 0.5 grams to four measures daily. The only correspondence I had from the gender clinic and that was only emailed to me this morning. So now I'm concerned because it takes a long time for my hormone levels to shoot up again. Um, I know gel is like a daily, you know, a daily testosterone thing, but at the same time, it still does take a little while for your levels to adjust. Now I cannot afford to be having these migraines anymore um, because it takes a lot of time off of me working because I can't physically do anything. And I used to get them a lot at work. Now I don't want to be getting them at work and I don't want to be having those problems again. So I'm hoping that this could be, you know, the answer to my problems from today. So fingers crossed that will help. Obviously being six months on testosterone, I really didn't think that I was going to have this many problems. But, you know, it is how it's going and like always I'll update you of more. I also uh, requested a list for top surgeons on the NHS um, so I can have a look, but I feel like the information is very limited. They give you the surgeons names, but finding results and stuff like that is, uh, why am I finding it so difficult? I, like, is there not, if anyone has any suggestions from the, who lives in the UK, um, to any like pages on Facebook and stuff like that about top surgeons and their results and people that have gone with them and you know all these kind of things I would really it would really help because this is the stage I'm at and I need to look around and research before you know going ahead because I want to really be educated on who I want to go to and what they offer and what the results are like so I would really appreciate any help anyone can give me there and yeah, so this is where I'm at and I'm struggling a little bit because it's messing me up a lot and I'm going on holiday in a week and I am really hope I don't have this problem because I've got to get on a plane which also messes up my head and adds more pressure to my head and usually gives me a migraine and I end up throwing up by the time I get off the plane. So let's just hope that doesn't happen this time because I really don't want to start my holiday off like that again. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and goodbye.